Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. This is lesson number 7 in Laplace Transform and we are still on properties. And in this video, we will learn how to find some special integrals using Laplace Transform. And as always, the most important question and the five important points. So let's start. So um, in lesson one and lesson two, you learned what is Laplace transform and then you derived the Laplace transforms standard formula. And in lesson number three and four, you learned how to find the Laplace transform of many functions, sine square, sine cube, cos cube, cos a, cos b, hyperbolic sine, shine cube. And in lesson number 5 and 6, what we did is, we learned a lot of problems that they might ask in the exams. And now, in this lesson, you are going to find the integral value. What? Yeah, the integral value using Laplace transform. So, what is our aim? To use Laplace transform and find the integral value. Come on, tell me, what is Laplace transform by definition? Yeah, if you don't remember, you can take lesson number 1 or lesson number 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's integral e power minus st into f of t dt. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to put s is equal to 0 on both sides. So, what happens is, we get Laplace of f of t at s equal to 0 is equal to integral 0 to infinity. What is e power 0? 1. That is integral 0 to infinity f of t dt. That is great news. Now, I want you to read from right to left. Okay. So, let us make it a formula integral 0 to infinity f of t dt. This is the integral I was talking about from the beginning. I told you using Laplace transform, I will teach you how to find the integral of some functions from 0 to infinity. All you have to do it, find the Laplace transform and then put s equal to 0. I will repeat once more. I am reading from right to left. The integral value is the Laplace transform at s equal to 0. Okay, now let us give it a try. So, you can note this as a formula. So, let us give it a try. So, please write. Evaluate the integral. So, what is the question? Evaluate the integral 0 to infinity. Okay, so this Laplace transform is a very good tool to evaluate integral from 0 to infinity for certain functions. Okay, so that is really nice. So, look at this. They have asked you to find the integral of this. But what we do is, instead of finding the integral, we will find the Laplace and at the last we will put s equal to 0. So, that is the plan. So, we start like this. Consider Laplace of sin t. What is Laplace of sin t? 1 by s square plus 1. Next, I am going to write the same thing. Laplace of sin t divided by t. Ah, in the last lesson, we learned a property. If you divide by t, then what should we do? We have to integrate. So, we integrate from s to infinity 1 by s square plus 1 ds. So, look at this. Once more, I will tell you, they asked you Laplace of, oh, sorry. They asked you integral 0 to infinity sin t by t. But what am I doing here? I am finding Laplace of sin t by t. Okay, anyway, let us find it. That is Laplace of sin t by t 
is equal to uh, this is a improper interval so we make it y tends to infinity interval s to y 1 by 1 plus s square ds I am sorry about that it should be ds so that is Laplace of sin t by t is equal to limit y tends to infinity tan inverse s within the limits s equal to s to y that is Laplace of sin t by t is equal to limit y tends to infinity tan inverse y minus tan inverse s if you had watched lesson number six i'm sure you'll not have any trouble with these things and you know that this is equal to pi by two so we get laplace of sine t by t is equal to pi by two minus tan inverse s okay now once more i'll show you the formula which we derived in the beginning look at this i wrote the definition of laplace and then what i do is i am applying or i am putting s equal to zero on both sides and when i put s equal to zero what happens e power zero becomes one so this e power will vanish and only this f of t will be there now i am writing this i'm so excited i'm writing this result from right to left and what does it tell me if you want to evaluate an integral it is enough to evaluate its laplace and finally put s equal to zero now look at this this is what we are asked find integral zero to infinity sin t by t but instead what did i find laplace and at the last what should i do yeah now i'm going to write the now put s equal to 0 on both sides when you put s equal to 0 in Laplace it becomes integral 0 to infinity of that function is that clear and the right side will become pi by 2 minus tan inverse 0 and tan inverse 0 is 0 so this is the answer so I hope uh, you understood the method and I hope you are enjoying the method. Um, let's try one more question before we wind up this video. So please write. Evaluate the integral 0 to infinity e power minus t minus e power minus 3t the whole divided by t dt. Again, look at the question. They did not ask you to find Laplace. But we are learning Laplace transform. So what we know is integral 0 to infinity f of t dt is actually Laplace of that integrand when s is equal to 0. So whenever they ask you this question, you should find the Laplace of this integrand and at the last you will put s equal to 0. So shall we start? Yeah. So Laplace of e power minus t minus e power minus 3t that is 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 3. I hope you are very good with the properties by now. So Laplace of e power minus t minus e power minus 3t the whole divided by t. What does that property tell you? Integrate from s to infinity the same quantity which you see above. Now I will ask something silly but it is very useful. What is the derivative of log x? In the assumption the basis c 1 by x so what will be integral 1 by x dx yeah log x so we are ready to integrate so i'm going to write both sides now 
Laplace of e power minus t minus e power minus 3t by t is equal to limit y tends to infinity log s plus 1 minus log s plus 3 within the limits s equal to s to y. I skipped one step because it's very easy for you. We are making this improper integral into the proper integral and okay and that will be limit y tends to infinity. What is log a minus log b? log a by b within the limits s equal to s to y. Now what we do is we plug in the upper limit so that gives me y plus 1 by y plus 3 minus we plug in the lower limit so there is no change because if you change s to s nothing happens. Actually we are going to distribute this but when you distribute and this to the second term nothing will change because this limit depends on y and the function depends on s so you'll get the same function okay so you get log y plus 1 by y plus 3 minus log i'm skipping some steps uh, but i'm sure those steps are harmless okay now you divide throughout by y. So limit y tends to infinity. y by y, 1 by y, y by y, 3 by y. So we get log 1 plus 1 by y, 1 plus 3 by y. And as expected, this will vanish, this will vanish, log 1 will come, the whole thing will be gone. And we learned one more thing minus log of something will be plus log of its reciprocal. If you don't know this result, please write minus log a is log 1 by a. In the last video, I gave the reverse version. Log 1 by a is minus log a. Okay, so what we just found is Laplace of e power minus t minus e power minus 3t by t. That is where we started. I hope you remember here. See? And the answer is log s plus 3 by s plus 1. Wait a minute. Now I remember something. They didn't ask you to find the Laplace. What did they ask you to find? Integral. Oh, the integral is nothing but Laplace value when s equal to 0. I hope that stays in your mind. We found the Laplace. But what do we want? Integral. So all you have to do is put s equal to 0 on both sides. So when s equal to 0, what will be the Laplace? Yeah, it will be integral 0 to infinity. e power minus t minus e power minus 3t the whole divided by dt. Now put s equal to 0, so log 3 by 1. That's it. So that is a short video, but very important one. So what we learned in this video is, we learned how to evaluate integral 0 to infinity using Laplace. And the method is very easy. Find the Laplace and put s equal to 0 at the last. Or... If you put s equal to 0 in the Laplace transformation, then it becomes the integral value from 0 to infinity. So with that, I'm going to stop. I'll be back with more videos. And as always, if you like the video, please share and subscribe. And I'll be back soon. So till then, my friends, bye.